Oh uh, yeah, I think I got scammed. Oh shit. That's my ass marks from my sweat from sitting on Oh, you filth bag. I was about to say it's been gay. It, there's just pain. I don't know where that was the pain. Oh, it's, it's so exciting. <laughs> Morning, Sasquatch. I see you haven't showered this morning. That's okay, we're in the same boat. Me either. Showers weren't working. I, it's a couple of things this morning. One, the little football is arriving to drop the ball from a drone, so I hope the script that I sent off last night gets approved, so I can film that video today. And then next thing, I am seeing so many more videos now of people I think the downfall of TikTok is coming if TikTok don't do something crazy, which is the TikTok shop. I don't want to buy your friggin' face scrubber. I don't want to buy your oil pulling crap. I don't want to buy everything that's come from Timu and AliExpress. And yeah, okay, I do want to buy that Fairlife protein drink. I do want to buy that. A link below. No but I'm also not spending $45 on a stack of protein drinks. That's not happening. I just feel like TikTok shop is grim. It's grim. Like I have my own products on there, but I've stopped linking it now because just the TikTok shop banner, I can see everyone, like my experience on TikTok is like, I don't want to deal with that. I just, I see that, scroll. It's a shame. It should just be, I don't know. I, I don't like the idea. I mean, I like it and I don't like it that it became this, what the hell? This, um, you know, anyone can make money off of it. So then people were just making videos just to make money, which, <laughs> You know, I'd say it's part of what I do, but I'm not doing it just for the money. And I, f <laughs> I feel like I'm on a high horse. I feel like I'm, you know, providing entertainment, whatever. The other thing, so the guy that's been doing the automations for me, he's in, he's based in uh, Nigeria. And he quite often, like, he'll message asking me to do something, asking me to check something, and I won't, I might not see the message for 20, 30 minutes, or I'm in the middle of something, and I'll, he'll phone call me, or he'll like double text, like with just, just question marks. And I don't know what it is, I, I don't know if it's a cultural thing, but for me, I don't need, I don't want a double text, I don't want a phone call, I'll answer the message when it comes to it, unless it's super important. Like, what you're doing, if you, if you call someone just to get their attention, if you double text them just to get their attention, you're essentially saying, my, what I want is more important than whatever you want, or whatever you have going on. I can't stand that. don't like it. I made so oh, this book that we read Rugi is called Corduroy. I would say it Corduroy, but my wife spells it, uh, pronounces it as it's spelt. So Corduroy. It's such a good book. Like we read it to Rugi most nights. That's one of his favorite books. But the book is so good from a storytelling perspective. And there are a couple of things in there that, are, that once you understand storytelling, it's so flipping good. Actually, I don't think it's when you understand storytelling because my wife picked up on one of them. I'll read it to you and it's gonna be embarrassing because I'll read it to you the same way I read it to Ruga. But it's, uh, I really like the things they've done in that book. All right, here's some other notes. Oh yeah. I've realized I've turned my script writing for any TikTok almost into a template. And so I can plan out a video and how I think it will go. So essentially it's like, let's say I want to go and do an experience, a side quest for a video. 
I can plan out the steps that I would take to reach my goal as if, you know, I were out there just doing the thing there and then. But then, based on the things that happen, I just fill in the blanks for the script. Now, of course, you can have things that change and, you know, through the experience, certain things go a different way than you planned it and you can adapt. But it's almost like I can write a script that's like plug and play now. I just fill in variables. Which I think is pretty cool. It makes, you know, there's a part of it that means I'm doing something similar again and again. But still, to me, every video is different. What's the other thing? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I got scammed with the video editing. I sent the guy the money and he keeps putting off the delivery of these videos again and again. And so I'm just going to request a refund and find someone else. Bloody annoying. It's so annoying. But there we go. All right. Let's go see if we have some emails and we can get filming this video. Oh, it's so, so exciting. <laughs> Uh, uh, we're calling Kenny this morning. Big K Dog. If you answer. Where'd my socks go, Duda? There they are. All right. I'm sorry, I got That's one more right. question. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> sorry. Now you're fine. filling this out, and I wrote Johnson County Motor Vehicle, but then I saw on the back, I think I always write that. On the back it says, make checks payable to Johnny County Treasurer. Do you think that matters? I'm pretty sure I always write motor vehicle. Uh, yeah. You think it does matter? Like, I just feel like with how government stuff is, yeah, it needs to be right. That's yeah. so annoying. Okay. Thank you. Do it, do it right next time, Shay, okay? Just get all of America. Yeah. <laughs> do it again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise my hand. Right, just one of these. Just across the, the back of the neck, you know? Thanks, Shay. What's going on with you, dude? Let's, uh, I know you're excited. My back is melted, dude. I, I bet you're... I hurt myself you're, so bad. You're so sore. You, do you keep jarring your back? Uh, I, I, I took my skills to the skate park yesterday. Oh dear. Skills? Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's, let's hear about it. What do you want to show first? The video or you want to show you like dying on the skateboard or what? Um, for, wait, for the video reference, Kenny did a video of learning how to kickflip. How long did it take you? Five days and fifty, or five days, five hours and fifty-six minutes. That I, that's pretty decent. Dude, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of mad that it takes six hours across different times and days to be able to learn how to do something that seems as simple as a kickflip. Same. Like, don't get me wrong. It would take me probably longer than that to try and learn. So, I did. So yesterday I did kind of what you said. Uh, I swapped out one of these test ones and put the hour seven up there. Okay, nice. Uh, wait, can you see it on my phone? Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. Okay. And then I did for, for the B test thumbnail, which I think is actually really dope. Like, I actually really like this one. I, I sent it to you, but I know you're busy yesterday. This is what I did. Uh, yeah, I like this. I, they, I think it's, like, hilarious that your toe's hanging Dude. out your shoe. <laughs> I barely had to do anything to my toe. I just took a burn brush. Yeah. Um, I just grabbed a burn brush in Photoshop and just lightly like smudged over my toe like two or three times. Done for. Nice. My toe was already like bloodshot red. I bet it was. In the original photo, yeah. That looks really good. Um, yeah, I, my uh, only, like I think that looks really good. My only thought is obviously that the proven one has been where they have like their feet facing the camera and you can see them like, like in that. Yeah. 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 yeah like it's just what I was thinking about doing, but I wanted to like, I wanted to show myself on the skateboard. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. So it almost, because no one's ever taken a thumbnail photo that even looks like that at all. So it's going to be the only one. So I guess, like, we'll see how the perfect concept does with that being its the only variation that I've seen of it. Yeah, I think there's, there's going to be a change in the meta, and it's going to move away from what it is currently, which is, like, that hyper-realistic, and into yeah. something that looks way more realistic, which I think yours does, because obviously... A shot of someone's toes that are all off at different angles. Yeah, like, Stupid. like I'm like decapitated my toes. Yeah, like, decapitated like, your toe. My toes like demangled and hanging off by by a shoe thread. Did you say demangled as if it's gotten like a <laughs> yeah, D apostrophe <laughs> mangled? Yes, exactly, exactly. I think you're gonna catch that too, you <laughs> British. Yeah, I the, honestly the one with your toe out and the skateboard flipping I think is really good. If you know, you know that when we go through these things, I'm always looking at uh, trying to be critical. The only thing I would say is maybe change the color of... Like this one, I think is really good. I don't know if yeah. I would change anything about that. The other one, maybe changing the color of your trousers. Oh, and this one? Yeah. Black. Yeah. I mean, it does. It's contrasted against the background. But I wonder, you know, just like an A-B test. But okay, it still yeah, stands yeah. out. Like it's very clear I, what you're doing. I would like to change them. My only ordeal with changing these from black is I don't want to pull away from this being your initial site. Yeah, that's true. That is very true, actually. Because like, if I were to make these an actual color of the spectrum, like a red or a yellow or a blue, I'm automatically looking top right, and there's no, there's nothing, there's no information that I'm being given top right besides some floating feet. You know, I'll tell you something that's really funny about that photo is that the green grass like as weeds growing through the gravel shows yeah. that I think that gives a, a pretty amateur aspect to it because a nut, if you're doing this in a really nice skate park then it seems unattainable oh but, yeah and I completely generated this with the AI in Photoshop like, so I, good isn't it yeah, yeah. I literally, what I did is I highlighted the top third and I said concrete wall, highlighted the bottom third and I said concrete ground. Yeah. And then I highlighted the surface in between them right here and I said blend together and it gave me like some grass to blend it together. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's worked out really well. I figured yeah, you'd was, AI'd it, but. It, it was really, looks, really cool. Yeah, and it looks really authentic. Really, right, excuse me, so real. Let's see it. This is, this is. So what I'm going to do at the end of my video is I'm going to put this at the end because I've been watching a lot of Joshua Wiseman and like these other people's content who recently came up and they're starting to do like these like bloopers or like funny B-roll shots at the end of their video. That okay. seems more like personal and stuff like that. Yeah. And which kind of makes sense with how we're talking about how YouTube seems like it's circling back to being like more into that personal ground. Like, you know, somebody used to sit in their room in their chair and never leave for a video and they're fine. Yeah, yeah. And this is going to be a good reason for people to stay to the end because they know they'll get more stuff. Yeah, exactly. So this is me trying to go to the skate park yesterday. I have the largest, I have a bruise right here that goes like down like a third of my thigh. Yeah, it's bad. Okay. You'll see exactly, you'll see two reasons why. I'm a skateboarder now. Dude, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Dude you wrecked yourself. so hard. Let's go home. That was nice. Dude, that was sick. In your groin? Yeah. <laughs> Is this the new girlfriend that's... Yeah. Nice. See, I told you. Come on. A little switch, cheeky. The quads are looking good as well, man. They're juicing. <laughs> Juice. That's so looked on those quads. So look. I like. Yeah, I like those bits, dude. Then I was gonna add this on the end of it because yesterday I did a drop in. I redeemed myself with the drop in. Ready? Ready? Bro, this is home video vibes. The whole ready, I, ready. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. I redeemed myself and I got too confident, so I went to this one. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh shit. That's horrible. 
That's... <laughs> There's a couple that walked by and they're like, they're like, yeah, we see me. Yeah, it's like, uh, do you want me to call the ambulance? Yeah, and then I'm just going to end it with me literally limping back to the, the car. I like that. You should put like a bulge I, effect around your ass cheeks. Oh, dude, I already got you. It's like, um, you, you'll see it when we get there, obviously, but you can see like, I just yeah. the word got to yeah. <laughs> it's like I like that just wandering off into the distance and look at the dude playing tennis the way he's walking wait how is he walking look, just, just watch him <laughs> on the tennis court he's not honestly <laughs> not he's walking, walking like, a, like a brute he's honestly not walking too dissimilar to the way you're walking yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twins. Yeah, it's just like a mirror image, and you've just placed yourself on the back. And then I just ended it with like, "Why are you looking?" Yeah, I like that. What's up with your colors on your timeline? Do you keyword everything? Yeah, so like I, I try to keyword like different things. Like, so I'll keyword I'll keyword like B roll day one, B roll day two, B roll day three. I'll keyword day one, day two, day three. I'll B roll or <clears throat> I'll keyword like any extras that I put into the footage, my GoPro footage. It's so it's, annoying. It, Sorry, carry on. It takes a little bit of extra, like obviously, and the like upfront effort, but it is a lot easier to sort through everything, like as I'm progressively doing it yeah i imagine in a youtube video like a tiktok it's pretty easy like you don't have that yeah, much TikTok, footage but for youtube videos yeah you have so much from so many different areas that i think keywording it is the way to go yeah yeah but um uh, i like the ending of that yeah all right let's watch it uh, oh but speaking of that real quick you know the brand hex cloud that gordon ramsay like partners with the oh yeah Dude, for one, these pots and pans are is insanely expensive. Yeah. Like a thousand dollars for this set right here. Uh, they reached out to me this morning and they're gonna send me a, a set, and all they did was want me to post an Instagram story. I was like, thank God, because for one, I need a new pots and pan set. Two, I'm not spending twelve hundred dollars on a pots and pan set. Three, an Instagram story post is so easy. That's, yeah. Thank you. Why would they? Why have they picked? You know, not to discredit you. Why have they picked you for that? Because of my cooking videos. Yeah, but, again, respectfully. They haven't, they haven't done, respectfully, yeah. they haven't done anything astonishing, but I think what they're trying to do is, they're basically, anybody who is doing, like, okay with cooking and up on platforms, they're trying to put hex club pans in their hands, so that is the only brand you see in every single video. It's so smart. So if you go back and look at like cooking videos on TikTok and Instagram, almost eighty five percent of the videos I see have Hexclad in them. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was... Everyone uses Hexclad. Everybody, bro. Dude, I was literally just saying this the other day. How? Why aren't companies finding people in certain niches or like vloggers just sending them free gear, no expectations, a, and so they it have it? Product takeover. Dude, I, I just don't see. It. I, I, I do feel that these brands are so disconnected that when you see a brand finally doing something like this, you think like, they're starting to come around. Like someone at those companies has their head screwed on and realizes how this works. Like how you're going to use those pans now in every single video. And yep. what, did, what did it cost them? It was a tax write off for them anyway. Yep, exactly. Yeah. That's I am. Um, crazy. I reckon the, the next wave is going to be brands not trying to gift stuff and the benefit is that you you have to make a video but you make affiliate sales. I think it's just going to be like here's some stuff, use it in the videos yeah. as you want. No, exactly. like, I think so too. Yeah. So is this video done? Uh, I would say it's like 90%. I got to add a little bit more music in some places and then there's just a, I'll pause at like an area too where I'm thinking about doing it slightly different, like adding a piece in as opposed to how I have it. I like that when I look at the audio area, I don't see tons of sound effects and tons of music and stuff because you're trying to go no, lightweight on that. This, I think this whole video I've used like six sound effects, maybe seven. That's good. Dude, I in. Come on. Stop doing this, please. 
stop coming in and out. Are we going to get a sneak peek? Yeah, yeah. Alright, you ready? I'm ready when you are. Alright, just let me know if I should pause it for any reason. Look at this scruff. Looks good. I, I know, dude. It's getting so long right now. It's only been like five days. I have to ask you, the black bit in the background under your desk that looks like it has a plant on it, is that a radiator? No, that's a table. No, under the table, on the wall. Yeah, this is a table right here. Oh, that's another table? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have a table under a table? <laughs> so, when I first moved into here, like, it was just me. So, I didn't want to put, like, a full table here or anything. There's not an uh, insane amount of room. So, I, I built, like, this is a shelf. And then on the latch is, like, another, like, two-foot board that extends up. And then a, um, a piece of metal extends under it to make it flat. So, you can sit there and eat, like, a table. And then when I'm done, I could just fold it back down. That's, like, New York City Lonely Man vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's, like, New York City, like, kind of table with, yeah. like, no space. <laughs> but, uh, well, what if it was a radiator? Uh, then I was going to be surprised because, like, Americans, there's not really yeah, radiators yeah. in America. Do you know what I mean by a radiator that fills with hot water? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've only been to, I think, one or two houses and, like, um, hotels that have radiators. Yeah, I think it's a super old thing here. Yeah, it is. You guys will switch to AC, which is way better. <laughs> no, definitely. All right, so when I was in Europe, yeah. there was no AC and that sucked ass. It is awful. Like, going home in the summer... It's terrible I now. I a month in Spain, and it was 100 degrees every day, and my Airbnb didn't have AC, and I didn't know that was a thing I had to look for. And no ceiling fans. Oh, yeah, I had no ceiling fans either, bro. I had, like I went to a store and bought, like, four fans, and they were just triangled around me. <laughs> with with buckets of ice in front of them or behind them. Bro, it was so bad. All right, let's see this. Right. Let's see this. All right. Someone asked me the other day at the park if I could do a kickflip on their skateboard, but I don't know how to do that. Here's a long list of requirements that I need to meet in order to be successful in today's video. Number one, land both feet on the skateboard. And number two, don't fall off the skateboard. So I went to the only place that you should buy your What? <laughs> Dresses for sale? I know. Tyler with a really nice skateboard that I liked offered him $60, to which he replied, sure, dude. And a couple hours later, I found myself in your typical sketchy neighborhood buying the skateboard from somebody who didn't even look like they did in the Facebook ad. This is good so far, dude. Christmas Really good. I like it a lot so far. This is hour one, day zero of trying to learn how to do a kickflip. I really hope I don't hurt myself. Yeah. I don't know why, but I initially decided to try to learn these in Crocs, and it didn't really go over as well as I thought it would. Oh. Oh. Oh, my ankle. <laughs> oh. Wait, did that leave the ground? 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 <laughs> I think that's my first successful ollie in over 10 years. I was off the ground. It was just an ollie. Eight minutes and 46 seconds in, and I think I just landed my first ollie. Now, before you guys start commenting down below. So right here, I have a part where I talk about saying, like, oh, before you guys drop a comment, like, oh, how do you, how can you do an ollie? You haven't even... Thanks, man. Uh, how can you do an ollie? You can't even... Um, like, you're just now skateboarding. I was thinking about pulling this moment back to me IRL. And I was going to do a clip of me showing, like, my ID when I was in um, when I was in middle school. I had, like, super long hair, skinny jeans, and, like, a t-shirt on. Yeah. And I was basically going to put that part over what I'm saying right now. Basically, me saying, like, now, before you guys come at me in the comments, I never, I never said that I've never skateboarded before. I've skateboarded before, and the most that I could do was an ollie, and I kind of looked the part. That's about as far as I got. Okay. And I was going to bring it back to this versus me just putting the voiceover over here. But I guess you can let me know how you like it. Yeah, if I say, do you want me to comment now or wait? Yeah, yeah, you can comment now. Okay, I think, I don't know, I haven't gotten a part in, uh, the feeling in any of this so far that you like, I, ju I, I got the idea that you've tried skateboarding before, you have managed to ollie when you were younger, and it's just been so long. I don't know if you need to explain all of that. Okay. In okay. fact, I th actually just wrote down a note that I wonder if you spent too long on the talking about the success of your Ollie, because I think you mentioned it like four different times. I think yeah, you can. Yeah. I, I, I was kind of thinking the same thing, but then when I see some people's YouTube videos, when they have like a tiny milestone, yeah. they hit on it and repeat it so much. And I, I've even like, 
been like, damn, they literally mentioned how they did that like four or five times. Interesting. Okay. Uh, like, um, prime example that I can think of off the top of my head right now. So Tyler, Tyler Arax friend, the one with the longer hair that has a YouTube channel. Oh yeah. So Tyler in his video of him finding the shark tooth, it's in like the first two minutes. He finds his first tiny shark tooth in a riverbed, and it's literally him. And the clip literally goes like, "Oh my god!" And it's like another cut, and it's like, "Oh my god, dude, we found a shark tooth!" Another cut, dude, I can't believe we found a shark tooth! Another cut, we really did find a shark tooth. That's insane. Mm. It, it like repeats itself almost four times, like sequentially. I see what you mean. Yeah, I think you're probably more. You are definitely more of an expert on YouTube than I am. You do a lot more research. Um, I would, again, just trying to be devil's advocate, yeah. I would counter that that's like a, that's an overreaction. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? I kind of, I, I do kind of want to figure out how I can make that, uh, that sequence a little bit more like shorter. Cause I did, I, I even felt myself like I was kind of dragging it a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I'll go back and look at that. Then. Yeah. I, I, I like the logic. Like you're seeing other people do it. It works, but you know, do you? Do you want to be the same as other people in there, or do you want to do it, you know, Kenny's way, yeah, your way? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just thoughts. Cool. Yeah, let's let's keep going. This is good so far. I like this. Before you guys start commenting down below about how I landed an ollie in under nine minutes, I have skateboarded before. I promise I've never landed a kickflip. The last time I skateboarded was over 10 years ago, and the most that I've ever done was land an ollie and kind of look the part. <laughs> I was about to say, I was about to say, just cut it like midway through the laughs at the beginning, but it's kind of interesting, like your 10 second rule comment is kind of funny too. So I think you could, oh, you yeah, could go yeah. either with it, way with that. Because <laughs> it's like a nostalgia, like this video feels so like, I mean it obviously is, but like shot in your fucking garage like a kid. Like. Yeah, why the hell are you eating two sriracha flavored dino nuggies <laughs> i don't know and why are there giant yeah nuggies. and why, like, why are there two of the biggest tv boxes i've ever seen just queued up in your garage <laughs> bro it's because me and christian own 75 inch screen tvs and who's in that body bag over on the right side now bro, that's a couch it comes in the play that is a couch what for like half an ass cheek <laughs> the corner of a room, bro. Oh, get out. <laughs> Dumb couch. <laughs> With what looks like a single ski above it. It's a fishing rod. It's right? a fishing rod. It looks like one ski <laughs> with the bindings. I know. <laughs> but dude, there's so many comments to make on it. Just like, there's so many things to look at. I think, I, I, what I will say is that, and I, know, I think you've done this on purpose, is that it looks like a normal person's garage. You look like just a dude... Who wants to try and skateboard? I mean, that's what my garage looks like usually. So yeah. Up, so. <laughs> there we go. It's perfect. Yeah, like because because three four years ago, people would never have done that in a garage looking like that. They would have made sure it's clean and made sure it looks perfect. Oh, I know. The most I did was I just I just uh, like air dried the floor or whatever it's called. Air dried the floor. <laughs> air dried the floor. I grabbed the hair dryer, bro. Like. <laughs> I have so many questions about why you need to air dry the floor, but we'll carry on. All right. <laughs> I feel decently confident. I feel decently confident. Almost 70% of the time, I'm landing the ollie. So we're going to start to try to add a rotation onto it. Ow. Oh, my ankle. Oh, my ankle. Ow. <laughs> well, the board's rotating. Dude. I pause for a second. I reckon, what is the, what's the biggest fear of trying to do a kickflip? I think it's when you knock your ankle. Bro, so my ankle, my, my ankle and shins are so bruised right now. Like they're so sensitive to the touch. I, you can tell me how you feel about this. I think you should highlight the fact that you knocked your ankle and like how that puts you in this. Like you kind of get this fear in your head. And this like second guessing of like, do I really want to do this? But actually, you know, yeah. you need to commit to okay. get it done. You know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah, let me grab my notebook. Because I could pull... I could pull that and either freeze frame it or pull back to me IRL and do like a quick like 15 or 20 second bit where I talk about how like scared I am in retrospect of this board actually destroying me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think there is a part that comes up where I do mention it. Kind of like... Okay. Oh, maybe it's on day two where I mention it. Okay. That'll be good. Yeah, like here I'm thinking it smashes into your ankle. You have your reaction you do like a reverse, you reverse the playback to the second that it hits. And then you cut to like clips, multiple clips of you like getting ready to pop. But the voiceover is like, you know, in your head, you're second guessing yourself. You don't want to knock your ankle again. <laughs> Duda, hey, come here. No, come here. Duda, you're a good listener. Come here. Good girl. Okay, I put it down. Cool. Damn, we're only two minutes in this. I feel like so much has happened. I, honest, dude, it's actually really good. I'm really enjoying like, it so far. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, I feel like a lot has happened. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> Frustration was quickly setting in. Not only was oh, I literally say right here. And almost simultaneously decapitated oh my, gosh. my prostate at the same time. I was starting to remember the reason why I quit trying to do a kickflip 13 years ago. And how That's so funny that you say that, because I literally put it the next sentence. Yeah, I, I think... Um, I, I did like basically what I was going on. You've done. I would just I would change it to the being about your ankle and not wanting to clip your ankle versus like the fear of not being able to do it setting in. You know, but I think it's good the way it is too. Okay, I'll write it down. <clears throat> I'm just I think about that from the relatable relatability aspect. That yeah, I think. Yeah, no, the, I agree. yeah, that's why I was saying I might pull like out to myself IRL and just talk about it for a second. Okay. Because it is a really, really relatable subject. Yeah, it is. How difficult this was actually going to be. This is so frustrating, and the board is destroying my shoes. This is my favorite. Pair See, and this is why I wanted to make the shoes the thumbnail because I uh, over throughout the video I bring the shoes and show the progress of the hole being made in the shoes more. That. Is sweet, dude. I like that idea a lot. So, like, this is day one showing you my shoes kind of towards the end. And there's nothing. Like, you're starting to form a hole inside of it right now. Oh, my knee. Oh, that just high breaks into my knee. So, I gave up for the day and came to the conclusion that I was definitely old, judging by the fact that everything in my entire body hurt. And I should probably go watch at least one or two tutorials on how to properly do a kickflip because I have no idea what I was doing. I like this a lot. It's 40 degrees out right now. I, I have the Tony Hawk album playing in the background. I, I didn't I didn't recognize it, but I also really like the crappy ass transition you used. Like <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know why, it just seems so appealing to me, like the frame fall. I did I I honestly I thought my laptop was closing, but I love how like it's so bad. It's such a bad transition that it works. It's like you got into a video editor and you saw that there were loads of free templates or presets for transitions. You're like, I like that one. Yeah. Okay. It's 40 degrees. Dude, I can't. I can't. No, I can't even watch it without you thinking your laptop's going to close. And I found out yesterday after studying for the rest of my day that I've been doing a kickflip wrong my entire life. Not that I've ever done it right because obviously I've never landed a kickflip, but I've been doing it wrong in terms of I was never applying the proper technique. And I kept watching this guy's YouTube video and I found out the exact way that you're supposed to do it. So today might be the day. I I'm feeling like we might be able to land a kickflip today. I'm going to land it. it it's, it's inevitable. <laughs> yes. Love that. Scene switch. Contrast, yeah. yeah. One foot. I landed one. Oh. 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 I don't know if you guys can see these nails. 
Oh. Is that your yogurt? Nails on my skateboard that I picked up. But if you look very closely, they protrude from the skateboard itself. We're gonna hollow these nails down and put them more into the board. I like this like side mission. Screwing down the bolts must have been a mental thing because for the rest of the day, I was getting closer and closer to landing my kickflip. Nice, dude. And after having thrown on just a little bit of protection to give me a sense of security. Some friggin' shin pads? Yeah. <laughs> I was getting the technique. Are those actual skating ones? No, those are actually, those are my uh, professional knee braces for powerlifting. Oh, okay. They're like, they're thick. Like, they're like a half an inch thick, so I just put them on. Uh, okay, I like it. I think it, it could be good for you to highlight that they are, like, braces from something else. They're not for skateboarding. Like, I was thinking okay. you use, um, like, soccer shin guards, shin pads. But this yeah. is exactly the same, but I, there was part of me that thought those were actually for skateboarding, which makes me think you should highlight that they're from something else. You just have them lying around, you know? Okay. I could draw like a, like a text to it or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, powerlifting shin guards, LOL or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And grabbing my ladder from the garage to use it as balance, I was finally starting to feel like I was getting the technique. The ladder for balance. <laughs> Bro, tell me how, tell me how you, where's that, where's that? I just see, look at, yeah. did you see these? That's my ass marks from my sweat from sitting on Oh, there. you filth bag. <laughs> uh, that. How can you link that into, not necessarily needed, but like Jinxie's sweaty ass butt chair? Oh my God, bro. Like, yeah, I don't know if you can fit it in, but. I don't think I can, but that chair is so wild. Okay, all right, dude, this is so good so far. This is, I definitely think this is your best video yet. Yeah, I think so too, and it's crazy because it was just shot so, like, just raw and just trying to do something. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was so close. Yeah, I took ibuprofen yesterday twice. Yes, for dude. 12 hours. Um, I can't feel my legs. Actually, correct me if I'm wrong. I can feel my legs. They're in a detrimental amount of pain right now. I <laughs> so funny. Detrimental amount of pain. Dude, I'm telling you, my legs weighed a thousand pounds, bro. <laughs> Okay, so every fiber, every fiber of my legs done. Dude, a detrimental amount of pain might be one of the funniest phrases I've ever heard. <laughs> like, I don't know. For some reason, it kind of makes sense, but it's also completely wrong. Like, I know what you're getting at, but it's so wrong. <laughs> All right. Okay. By the way, this scene of your girlfriend, like in the ibuprofen kind of thing, is so good. Dude, it's funny because I did this video. I didn't plan anything. Like, if you look at my whiteboard, all I have planned is opening statement, draw the stinger with the text, go get the skateboard, day zero, hour one. That's literally all I planned out on my whiteboard. And then from there, it's done. Like, I just did things. Yeah, I think you've got a load of things in there. Like, if you look at the the template style of like, you try something, what's the result? How does that affect the next thing you do? And you've done that really well going through the different things, especially like the screwing down of the um, screws oh, yeah. it's, changed it's, it's your like mindset. Yeah. So, but I'm happy that I did those so it doesn't feel like you're watching me do the same thing for two minutes straight. Yeah. And I, I don't know if like you planned this out, but that is something you've... That's the kind of thing where people look for any excuse as to why they can't do it. So like the screws being an excuse, but actually you taking this excuse has actually changed your mindset in a positive way and has a positive outcome on what you're doing. I'm telling you, because psychologically I was thinking in my head, like the, these screws, like they have to be, for one, they might be ruining my shoes more. And number Definitely. two, they, I, I feel like they're interfering in some way, shape or form. Yeah, that scene, that switch up, that scene was great.
And I didn't even purposely do a lot of this contrast, but, like, the scene swap, swaps are just so, like, quick and flawless. Like, it, you go from day two right here, and it just, day three, you don't even, it just hits you. And, yeah, the fact that you're in such good spirits at the end of that day, and the next day you're on the couch having taken ibuprofen and feeling, like, poopy. Yeah, Perfect. Dude, so it's good. Crazy. Yeah, I took ibuprofen yesterday twice. Slept for 12 hours. Um, I can't feel my legs, actually. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can feel my legs. They're in a detrimental amount of pain right now. I used BioFreeze. I put the knee braces on. I um, I feel like death. I, my body, my lower body feels like it weighs a 1,000 pounds right now. And I don't want to move. It's almost noon and I still have not moved because I actually just woke up a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> I reckon, dude. Wait, hang on, hang on, sorry, keep playing the scene, I thought it was going to end there. This is so much harder than I thought. I reckon you cut that scene at you feel like death, and then straight into you trying. The rest of it is kind of like, the way I look at it is just like, just extra blubber and blurb that doesn't need to be said. Because like, you s that comes from what you just said too. I actually just woke up a couple minutes ago. So I think it's the, the end of the last clip. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's what I think, yeah. Okay. I used BioFreeze. I put the knee braces on. I, um, I feel like death. I haven't done too much to the ending part. I think I just need music because it's going to be kind of the same flow. Yeah. So. Hang on, dude. Stupid ass dogs. Give me, give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. Sorry. No, you're fine, you're fine. Alright, cool. I'll get back. Dude, having dogs is great. It's also a nightmare. Dude, this video is so good so far. Sorry about that. Bro, do you ever just hear, like, like... The theme song of when somebody calls you or FaceTimes you, and you just want to start twerking? Um, I normally, like, I, I get the, I really, the, the desire to, like, just drop it low. So, yeah. yeah because I just, I heard the da 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 and it made me want to shake my ass. And just, like, yeah. Do it, yeah. It's funny how you just want to go hypersexual with the ringtone from Apple. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> okay. All right, let's, uh, let's keep seeing this. All right. You guys see that my foot literally landed on the tail? <laughs> Widow with off. Landed on the tail and slipped off. I'm about to try. I'm about to try. I tell you what, dude. I quite like um, how your you come close to the camera to explain the things that happen because like kickflips are so fast that it's hard to see what really happens. So like when something oh, yeah. big happens, you're narrating that what happened and like why it made you feel so good. And I was going to highlight it, but I was like, oh, for watch time or like retention, I'll just keep it as is because when I explain what ha happened, people will probably go back a couple seconds and rewatch it. Yeah, that's true. Shoes are getting worse and worse. Remember what yep, I said? Here's the shoe update again. Day one. Now look, they're completely blown out. Nice. Like this is good. You can see my sock and my toes in there. I was eventually forced to go back home since I had a giant hole in the side of my socks and my tiny toe was bleeding. <laughs> tiny toe. Something in me that told me that I was going to land a kickflip today. I headed back up to the park where someone immediately asked me if I could do a kickflip. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to do a kickflip. Do you know how to do one? No, are you kidding? Do you really? Can you show me? He gave me a few pointers. Bloody hell. Actually seem to be helping a lot, but... Oh, I know, bro. Is he, in cro is he in Crocs as well? He's in Crocs, bro. He got high. Stay for long because he had to go and get groceries for his mom. Message me in time because if I land this, I, I can send it to you. Right. It's proof. And I'm going to post it on Instagram. All right, all right. <laughs> bro, the iPhone picked up this audio so well. Yeah. My iPhone, this shit was damn 15 feet away. Yeah, that is. That did pick it up well. 
Meanwhile, I ended up practicing for another 15 to 20 minutes, and I felt like I was getting no closer to this kickflip than I was a couple hours ago. But that was until Cam showed back up, and he told me that he wasn't going to leave until I landed the kickflip. Oh, no! oh my god! Do you have the audio of him saying I won't leave? Um, I can try to go back and find it, but I don't think so. Because when he originally showed up, he was like, he was even farther back than he was right there. He was like 25 feet deep. Mm, okay, that would have been really good, but yeah, it's no, not, no. no biggie. Oh my god. <gasps> that was it, wasn't it? No. That, that... watch. <laughs> I knocked my camera over and everything. I was like, no, that does not count. Remember, I gotta land two feet on the board and I can't fall off. That's right. Oh, you should bring that back up here. When well, maybe not. Like, oh, I could, I could do it below in this text right here because I get so excited. I'm like, does it count? Does it count? I knock the camera over and I use the sky as text. So I could say, no, it does not count, and then I could put the requirements right below, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, or well, like, didn't have two feet on the board. Yeah, I like that, dude. Because I thought you nailed it, and I was like, oh, cool, he did it. Yeah, All okay, right, cool. And then I would be, like, and then you started carrying on, and I'm like, what? why? Why doesn't it count? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool, okay. Did it lag on my video? Play that, play the landing bit again. No, it was a freeze frame with my, uh, with the time. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, it lagged right before that, but I like the freeze frame. You're my good luck charm, you're my good luck charm. That's my first <laughs> The black dude's your good luck charm? <laughs> Yes. Nice, dude. This that's a good bit to keep in. Like explaining why. This is so funny. I'm not the same. Now you gotta do it. Now you gotta teach me how to ride a bike backwards. So. Do it. That that. Carry it's on. like ending it on a hook, kind of saying like what may come up here in the future. Um, him teaching me how to ride a bike backwards. Then right here, I was just going to do like a quick closing statement, probably 15, 20 seconds. Be like, <coughs> thank you guys for watching. Um, <clears throat> I like basically giving the reason for my mission, like why I'm doing this. And like just doing a quick thing of like, like just try to challenge yourselves. If you've wanted to learn a kickflip and you're 47 now, who the fuck cares? Just pick up the skateboard and try it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And then I was just going to finish it off real quick and just be like, the next day I was feeling super confident. So here's some bloopers of me going to the skate park. And then it's just me literally going to the skate park. I like the bloopers I really like. Let me share my thoughts on a couple of my videos on TikTok. Like, so TikTok, we're playing the retention game. And I still think in your video here, you're, you're still like part playing retention, part playing, like just enjoy the experience. Yeah. Um, and I found that if I provide a, a, like a positive message after the payoff, it doesn't matter. Like the dip is just crazy. It just drops straight off. I would say that if you're gonna provide a message it has to be before the payoff. But I, I know yeah, that's really difficult to do. Yeah, it's such a hard thing to do. I've, I've just been <clears throat> trying to take cues from like, Josh, let me see. He probably did it in, he probably did it in this video. He always does it. So towards his end. Cranberry sauce, you're a little hater. That's it, my idea. So it does like a quick wrap up. Asked for it for years, and so now that you've seen this, this is what it looks like with the light off. B roll. He always does like a B roll. B roll. Oh. Yeah. So this is the people are staying to the end because they want this because it's different to the rest of the video. Yeah, and he has done that. That whole that B roll, and 
I mean, this video is four, year, four, four years ago. So here's his ending statement. So boom, his video's finished. B-roll right there. And then he does like these ending statements. Obviously, this is four years old. It's different. But... Yeah, I reckon he's he's updated that because... I mean, the video is still at 13 million. I don't really know. Yeah, you know I'm probably talking up my ass, yeah. but that was that's just my experience. But it's probably, I mean, again, you, I'd say you're more of a YouTube pro than I am. So if you feel like that's the right thing to do, then definitely go for it. I could do, I could just like, I mean, if I don't need to really talk about it, then I could just like cut this and just do like text on the screen and just say, bless you, uh, and just say like, uh, the next day I decided to take my professional skateboarding skills to the park or something like that and then I just roll into it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Oh. Dude, I wrecked myself. Oh, I knew that was How long is this I... section? This is It's a minute. Yeah. That's I mean, you think about that, you've got what, a nine minute video here and over a tenth of your video is extras that someone may not oh, yeah, get to. Yeah. Exactly, 100%. But here's another primary example of why, like, I'm trying to be more, like, back to the roots. So, like, Mike Boyd is the guy that... So, Mike Shake evolves actually. from Mike Boyd. So, I remember Mike you saying, Boyd yeah. is the original Mike Shake. And if you go back and look at a lot of his videos... There you go. Uh, actually, I'll go to his kickflip one. So, Mike Boyd's kickflip video right here... So he lands his kickflip right here. Boom. Video video is pretty much done. He lands his kickflip. Still a whole minute and Five. six seconds left. Yeah. And it's just him just just messing around with it and having fun. Yeah, he's then like just enjoying the fact that he could do it. Oh, he's wearing football shin pads. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And it's a bunch of... He lives in the UK. Oh, does he? Yep. And it's a bunch of clips of him, like, with his cat, his cat, like, entering the scene. This is eight years ago. Yeah, so this is, like, different time YouTube. I would... Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, this is your video. If it were my video, I wouldn't risk something that long. But... Yeah, no, it, it I'm depends. just, like, it's so hard to play. It's like playing devil's advocate. It's like, am I going to try to play the audience piece? Yeah. Or am, am I going to try to play the, the retention piece? Because especially, like, what, um, what's his name was saying the other day? Jay, Jay Alto, the video you sent me? Yeah. It's like, do, do I start playing the authenticity piece or do I just, like, say fuck it? Yeah, I think you're in here, you're in the middle. Like, you can tell because that you spent... People already editing. have Mike Shake. Like, Mike Shake does videos in, in a variation of this currently. But yeah. he, Mike Shake's not very, like... His Mike Shake's videos are so like heavily edited, it hurts my brain. Yeah, like his content's extremely well, but it is to a T like meta YouTube. Like, there's not a lot of him just like sitting around and talking or showing like bloopers or fun stuff. So, it's like they like we already have Mike Shake, so I'm trying to show like a more broken down piece of that. Yeah, I would say there's part of me that seems to think that there are, uh, there are going to be two types of videos on YouTube. There's going to be ones that just have, like, no cuts. Like, let's say, Sam Sullock. Yeah, yeah. And then there's going to be videos that are edited for entertainment. Like, yours is definitely a hybrid, but I you would still put it in the batch of edited for entertainment. And so, yeah, I would... Um... I'm a skateboarder now. <laughs> I, I think to me it's a risk and i think yeah you just have to determine is this message this like having this long of an ending bit is that something that's particularly valuable to you and your style that you're willing to reduce your potential view counts in the beginning until people start to feel like oh that's kenny i can't wait to see all the bloopers he had you know yeah, that's exactly, like, what I want to do. And there's certain people, it sucks to, like, determine it because there's certain people that have done it since literally, like, day one. Yeah. And it's like, damn, like, if I don't start doing it now, am I ever going to find myself in a position to where I can do it? Then, yeah, then maybe just do it because, I mean, like... Or, or I could just cut it kind of short where it's like this. 
I'm a skateboarder now. Dude, <laughs> Oh, I'm not a skateboarder. I quit. And just show both my failures. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like maybe a compromise of showing less. I think, why not cut those, like, after you hit the deck? Because honestly, there's not much of a reaction in there. Like, yeah, you get the laughs, but you don't then show your bruise, or you don't... It's it's like you hit the ground, uh, laugh for a second or two, and then cut to the next one. Yeah. Because... Well, this I can cut this one. This one is like me just saying I want to go home. <laughs> I, th I liked the I want to go home bit. I like that a lot. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Where's the I want to go home? Is it here? It's right here. Let's go home. Yeah, yeah, I like that <laughs> a lot. Let's go home, please. Oh, I knew that was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Flip, flip those two. Try flipping those two clips around. So the I want to go home bit is the, it then leads into you. Oh, yeah. So, bang. Oh, I knew that was coming. I'm a skateboarder now. Dude, I'm a goose. <laughs> cut, Dude. yeah, cut, cut, like, yeah, where you have those ripples in audio. So, yeah. like, midway through, cut, like, midway through those, yeah. Just try right. it. Yeah, let's try that. Just cut there, and then cut again where you say, I want to go home, like, right at the beginning of that word. Yeah. So just, yeah. Let's go home. Um, go to the clip before the one that's highlighted. Press Control S. Control S. And now move the audio bar to the right slightly. Like that, uh, sorry. Just click on the end of the uh, audio bar. The uh, yeah. yeah, that one. Yeah. And now play. Let's go home. Okay, yeah. Cause now you have the audio that leaks over. Let me know what you think of that. I'm a skateboarder now. Dude, <laughs> Let's go home. It's hard with the audio because it it yeah. comes in soft, doesn't it? Yeah, it comes in soft, and that comes in heavy as hell. I feel like, because you can't see I mean, your lips, you should just record that audio from about that distance outside again, and oh, just yeah, overlay okay. it. Because how long is this piece right here? This is 45. I mean, it's only like two seconds at the end of the video. True. But then at the uh, end of the video, people seconds. are looking for any excuse to leave. Yeah, which is why I think it's good that we start out immediately with me fucking racking myself. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm I do. Gonna, too. I'll, go and, I'll go and mess with it, though. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's just tweaking, isn't it? Like, I'm not telling you what will work and what won't. I'm just thinking about how I would do it, too. Dude, your. I think your best video yet. Yeah, dude. I, I think this shit is so good. Like, I had a blast. Obviously, I need to start adding music over this last portion to make it seem like it's moving a little bit more. But yeah. it's, it came out way better than I thought it would. Yeah, dude. I've, yeah, you should be you should be excited about that. I hope that one does well for you. When are you pushing it? I'll probably post it Saturday. And then my next... I have, like, a list. I, I, well, I, sh I told you about it, but I literally had, like, like pages of, like, things written, like, for me to, to learn and do. Oh, nice. So. Decent. That's the way to do it. Learn parkour. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. <sighs> yeah, you know, watch you when you're in hospital with a broken back, scoliosis. Oh, it's, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Gonna happen. <laughs> Gosh, good luck with that. Um, yeah. So, so what are you thinking about TikTok now? Are you gonna keep going with the cooking stuff, or you think? Oh, it's so hard to decide, dude. Like, I almost want to... Doing what I'm doing right now, I almost... Like, the only person that comes to mind for, like, the TikTok-style content is Garrett. Like, where where he just does, like, like Garrett Castrero or whatever. Yeah. Where he just does all that wild stuff. But, like, like that at the ending bit that I showed you, that conglomeration of me at the skate park, I could do that as a TikTok. I just need an intro that says, like, skateboarding's so easy or something like that. It's just me eating it. Tell, yeah, tell me... Why you think, 
Why do you think Garrett's stuff is so catchy? To just it's, it's authentic. It's just authentic. Like it's he he is true to himself. You can see the way he dresses, the way he talks, is literally the way he acts. Yeah, he like, looks it carries all into the same thing. Yeah, he looks secure in who he is, and yeah, yeah, like, confident in what he's doing. I'll tell you something somebody... that like fumbles his character. Yeah, like uh, like doesn't take himself too seriously, but is confident enough. I think the interesting thing is that he's filmed, like you can tell that the guy who films him is his friend. Yeah. Like they're just like they just seem like they're lifelong friends. And what is the other bit to it? Yeah, I don't know how he manages to do it, but he manages to stay under the radar of being arrogant, you know, like going to the gym, going to bench 225. There's no part of that where I think he's going just to show off that he can bench 225 when no one else can. It's kind of just yeah, it's like... just a bunch of questing for him. Right. And it, people, I, like when I look at the comments, everything he does is just like side quests. They're all like just crazy things. They are the type of things that are like the 90s American skater kid yeah he's that's exactly. him just in 2023 <laughs> yep um but so you think you kind of want to do it like that yeah i was thinking i'm doing it like that like taking a bunch of like progressional like clips of me doing things yeah and like live and then just throwing them together and posting them i think one thing i picked up from your videos there with like your reactions is that I think there's a part of you that is reacting the way you are because you know it's on camera and you're thinking that like you need to have a big-ish reaction to, to whatever it is you're doing. And I say that because, okay, I've obviously met you in person. Yeah. I wouldn't say you're like over the top and it's like one of those crazy YouTubers, but like having met you in person, I think... It, some of those things come across as, like, I need to react for the viewer. Well, I think it might depend on the subject, though, because yeah. I have, like, learning to do a kickflip is something that I put so much time into when yeah. I was a kid, okay. and I never could learn, and it it would anger me so much. i get so angry. Yeah. And my friends would do it, and it'd make me even more angry. So, for <laughs> yes. me, for me, this is, like, do it, like, landing the kickflip is something so small and so stupid, but to me, it's something so big that I just wanted, have wanted to do since I was a child. Okay. Yeah, so maybe so it's maybe like it's my read that's super, wrong. I'm, like, so stoked. I don't know. I'm literally smiling right now. Dude, it's just so <laughs> stoked for me to actually land it. Like, I don't even care how stupid and simple it is. Dude, I would be too. So, yeah, okay, maybe that's maybe that's on me then. Maybe I've just read that wrong. Um, but, yeah, I, th like, I guess that came from me thinking about how I react on videos. And I would, yeah. like, you know, for a TikTok, I might react differently than how I would if I'm just, like, doing this vlog thing because I know yeah. that people want to see that. But it's, so it's just something that I've then been thinking about. But, yeah, yeah I think you should be proud of that video. Like, the edit <laughs> is really good. Dude, and I didn't even really do anything for editing. It's just, like, not, the video is 90% cuts. You go, it's funny how you saw the, the Salt Fork video. And that really inspired your intro. And also, not that it, your stuff is now a copy of that, but it inspired the way you edited to be much more basic. Dude, dude the Salt Fork video is, is Mona Lisa, dude. It's so good. Yeah. It's so bad that it's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and it's not bad in terms of like the quality of the video, but the simplicity of it. Like, yeah. It just makes you think like, why? It's a dude in his apartment, cutting up salt. Yes. Uh, oh. I, do you know what was really good about that, that video was the fact that he just said he got the salt. Like he didn't talk about or like show him going to get the salt, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, Cause yeah. like- Yeah, and I noticed that too. He kind of like got right into it. Yeah, and I, I was actually thinking about this yesterday for one of my videos was that there, if you think about, like, you think getting the salt is a big part of the story, right? Because there's no salt fork without the salt. But if he doesn't get the salt in the beginning, 
there's no rest of the video and you know there's a video. So it's like, who cares how he got the salt? You just know that he got it. Yeah, it just, I guess it depends on the process in which you're doing it. Because, like, if you just order it on Amazon, like, there's not really anything right. to talk about or do. Like, I want to solve a Rubik's Cube for one of my next videos. And I was like, oh, I could include it. But I was like, I'm literally just ordering them on Amazon. So I already ordered them on Amazon. I was like, it's already done. Yeah. But as opposed to me getting the skateboard, it's like I could show the conversation. I could insert the picture of the person, like, selling dresses, which is goofy. And then the relatability of going to – a sketchy neighborhood at night to pick it up. I, yeah, that aspect, because that, like, that does play into it. Like, you didn't have a skateboard. It shows that you, it shows how much of a novice you are that you don't even have a skateboard. And anyone who's into skating will be like, why are you getting one off of Facebook? Like, get yeah, a professional like a, board, right? Like a, like a used skateboard off the marketplace, yeah. I just sent you a Rubik's Cube on Amazon that has an app. To help you learn how to do it because i was i pitched this idea for oh, one of the paid partnerships of like trying to do it within an hour 60 dollars for a rubik's cube i know oh, you know i might buy it and do it and then return it exactly what i was gonna do america <laughs> i know as, as jillian literally works at amazon oh does she yeah nice uh That's so funny I actually might do that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's got an app and it's like all connected and yeah, because it's all just algorithms. Yeah, it is. It is. It's just the same thing repeated. Cool. You know, okay. Funny, I was like, who else has done a Rubik's Cube video? Like, I'm just curious. Bro, four, three years ago, Ryan Trahan, four million views, trying to solve a Rubik's Cube with no experience, trying to break the world record. Yeah. Not surprised. I'm like, Jesus, bro. I know. Yeah, it's um, it's a good one. I feel like people... I'm just curious yeah, about getting, i mean a lot of these are like obviously what i want to do and I, what i wanted to do but a lot of them are what everybody wanted to do because when, when you're a kid you're exposed to a very similar amount of things like skateboards bikes rubik's cubes yeah so it's it's a very well-known thing which i think is also good because it reaches a very vast amount of audience with yeah and gender like a now the people where those kind of things, they wanted to do them as a kid, they're now working, like the majority are working corporate America and the idea of spending the time to do that is just not a reality. Exactly, so exactly. That's like, but five, five hours, 56 minutes. Yeah, that's all less it took. Than, less, less than an hour a day for a week and you can learn a kid's flip. Yeah. I was, I have this, this is kind of a side note, but it also relates. Yeah. Um, you know this shift in, uh, influencers now like people are starting to see that influencers that people once loved are actually so out of touch that it's not at all relatable oh, yeah. anymore so like a, a target trip or a Christmas gift basket that's like three or five hundred dollars right like yeah making a gift gift basket is a nice thing to do but it costing three to five hundred dollars no one like very few people have the resources to do that and yeah. so but then i also i was thinking about it in terms of these influencers yeah they're just people right so like let's say you or i right now we're just normal people we're friends with also normal people who you know still have stuff to return to amazon they still need to get their groceries they're still like trying to make it through life but then these influencers have reached such a level where then yeah their normal life isn't the same anymore they surround themselves with people that are at the same place and they they forget all of this like they because they just don't live it anymore and so like yeah. while they're trying to be relatable and trying just to be a normal person their life is not normal and they just like don't realize it which i think is funny because like um will tennyson the fitness guy i was telling you about i yeah. was watching an older video of his where he trains like uh, Mark Wahlberg for the day and in the video he goes oh next up like Mark Wahlberg usually goes and does one to two crowd therapy sessions and he looks at the camera and he goes uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm too poor for that shit I can't afford that yeah so we're going to 7-eleven we're gonna buy some bags of ice and pour it into my bathtub and just pretend it's a cryo bath there we go he has but the money for that yeah he does now but oh three back years then ago, he didn't like he was just he was just a student like out of college that's it and it's like if he was to make a video now 
if he he seems like a smart guy and seems like a nice guy that and he seems like a super relatable guy but i think in his position not that i'm telling him what to do at all it's just the way i'm thinking like he would have to be mindful of the fact that yes he can afford all these things and that the average person cannot yeah and so Which like calling that out own set of audience and like <clears throat> to it. People yeah being able to see things that they want to be able to expose themselves to but right. if you go back and look at the beginning of his channel the first three years like i was telling you bringing in like that authenticity piece he had his dog in almost every video Did his it? dog was like a derpy meme bro like his dog looked like special ed bro <laughs> special so ed funny. dog yeah dude dude <laughs> and he would have his dog in every video and it became like his channel like his channel logo and his intro would say like show like his dog and his meme and everybody loved his dog and his dog died like two years ago and um like he still uses the same in the same intro piece with like his dog and the name and everything to like honor his dog and everybody still remembers it and still like loves it that's nice that's a good piece all right after <laughs> we talk through this i have to drop off i've got to upload some stuff before 10. Bro. That's the derpy thing, dude. Bro, look at this. <laughs> that is gross. <laughs> like, the dog looks like crazy. Yeah. His name is Ollie, Ollie as well. Tennyson. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, his dog plays such a huge part. You can just look him up on the internet. Like, like, like what, bro? <laughs> yeah, like that. That's also... You know, you can play into it, but that's a relatable thing too. Like someone having a dog and loving their dog. Yeah. I like exactly. that. Um, cool. Yeah, dude. I really like the video. Good job with it. I, it, it didn't really take that much editing. Like after every day I put, like, I put everything in there, deleted what I didn't want and it'd probably take an hour. And then yesterday I worked on it for probably like three ish hours and that's, pretty much where I ended up. I'm probably like six-ish hours into it. Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad for a YouTube video. No. Good stuff. All right. Beautiful. Especially for a first one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's for the first one of the new style. I bet it's nice yeah. as well that you're not spending anywhere near as much time, like the feeling, because now you're like, cool, I can actually go into the next video and enjoy it, because I know it's not going to take yeah, 40 yeah, hours exactly. to edit. I know. It's, it's atrocious. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Well, I'm gonna get this stuff uploaded. Do you have anything you want to talk about for that? Since I took all the time to myself. No, no, no. I, I enjoyed watching that. It was good. Um, I don't think so. I think. Uh, my oh, I guess one thing is just kind of like a realization that, you know the typical storytelling style of like you have this setup want which defines like the direction of the video. Yeah. Um, this whole time, so you, you have the setup want which whatever that desire is takes you to the point of no return and then the result of that creates a catch, like a problem, which then instigates the rest of the video. Yeah. So. Previously, I've been like, all right, I need to make something up at the beginning as a reason to why I'm making this video. Like something, like let's say, like I covered my one of my cleats in Velcro and then tried to catch a ball on my foot. So like throw it up in the air and try and catch it on my foot. The, the setup one to that video was like I was, like Messi called me a donkey because of my bad first touch. And then I was playing with my son and he took the ball off me. And then that sparked the video. Like, just like, even though that video did pretty well, I still realized that those first 15 seconds are not like, they're not really the title of the video. Yeah, so like, yeah. it makes the viewer think like, am I going to get what I came for? And so now I've started to like show what like the setup want is like a small goal toward the larger goal. So like in this video I'm doing I'm going to drop a ball from a drone. At, I want to catch a ball dropping from a drone at 50 feet. And so the setup want is to prove that I can catch a ball from a drone at like 10 feet or something. So then it shows that the ball can be dropped from the drone and that I can actually catch it on my foot. So it like shows the viewer that they're going to get what they've came for, what they've come for. You just have to transition it well enough 
to know that there's more to come and that's not just your point of success. Yeah, 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 for sure. So like, especially in short form. Yeah. So like the hook will be, I have to do it from 50 feet, but the, like the next shot is going to be me doing it from 10 feet. Yeah. And that should be fine. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that, I mean, that's, I think that's the main thing that I've picked up do, recently. You should do 10 feet, 25 feet, 50 feet and say level one, level two, level three. Yeah. So I'm going to do 10 feet and then 30 or 40 feet and then 50 feet. Cause I feel like jumping to 30 or 40 feet is like, oh, he's going for it. Yeah, you know? I was just thinking because I have ADHD that 25 is a, uh, is a half number. Uh, I know. I should go for like a 32 feet or something, you know, like something random. Dude, do, do, yeah, do an odd number of feet. Yeah, that shit would fucking grind me. Yeah, that's, I think, like 32, yeah. I, that's a good, I just had that idea now actually from yeah, you. Yeah, so. 29 or 31 feet, it would, it would annoy the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. That's a really good idea. Yeah, nice. But that's just a small insert. And if somebody comments on it once, it just rides the wave. Yeah. Which I thought about making a fake account and then leaving like a comment about like a piece in the video that was like small but strategic and seeing if people would ride off that piece. Oh. Yeah, you could do that too. You know what would be cool is you make your videos the way you do with loads of those small pieces and you have a Discord channel and you get a bunch of the people in the Discord channel to go and see if they can pick out those items and then yeah. when people go to the comments they can see all this stuff and they're re-watching the videos to catch it or you just yeah do what you did and make fake accounts and then comment on it because <laughs> that was what happened with the your Polestar video wasn't it like I made you and I talked about yeah, me making that that's comment exactly what we did. and then it yeah it blew up that was yeah that was so funny and it literally blew up yeah yeah all right dude I have to jump off. It was good to chat and yeah, really well done with the video. Let me know when it goes up and I'll, um, I'll go and get some watch time on it. Okay. All right. I'll see you, man. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye I love you, Pookie. Love you too, Pookie. Bye. <laughs> All right. Let me, hi, Duda. Let me get some videos uploaded for this automation really quickly. I'll explain in a second. Dude, today, where's my, here we go. Today has been it's been really annoying, but it's also been so flipping good. It's been so good. Okay, let me let me explain. All right, why is it not been good, Oliver? That it's a good question. Okay, it's not been good because my plan today was to shoot the ball dropping from a drone video, but I don't know what happened. The ball didn't arrive on time. So, but it has arrived now. And it's like almost 4 p.m. by the way. This seems quite heavy. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the scales. Grams. 406. Four twenty. Okay. Um, this was meant to be a lot lighter. Okay, so the day hasn't been good because obviously I haven't been able to film this, and then it gets colder tomorrow. But the script didn't get approved last night, and like, wasn't it? It got disproved. They just didn't reply. So I guess they're waiting on feedback, getting feedback. So also I've never had an actual football that's this type that like actually looks like a, a football is meant to. But there we go. Um, it also got really cold today. Anyway, so that's that. So we'll shoot this tomorrow if it gets approved overnight. But why was today really good, Oliver? That's a good question. Okay. The socials automation, getting clips from this video out onto the fan pages has been a pain in the ass. It's been working. It's not been working. It's been stupid. Um, I was about to say it's been gay because like growing up, that's just how we use the term gay. It wasn't meant to be derogatory. It was just anyway, but that the automation is all set. 
the guy editing the videos, he didn't reply to me for like two days. He, and before that, he set up like multiple different days that he would have stuff ready by. Didn't meet any of those. So I was like, all right, screw it. I'll start finding a new person and I'll submit a refund on PayPal. Submit the refund and sure enough, a few hours later, he pipes back up and he's like, let, let me get these done for you. So I'm like, he's like, please cancel the dispute. Please cancel it. I'm like, I will, I promise you, I'll cancel the dispute on PayPal when you've done the work that I've paid you for. <laughs> so he's working on that now. But I also, it also gave me a chance to readjust the contract of such, which I was going to pay 50% at the beginning of the month and then 50, the remaining 50% at the end of the month. But I've rearranged it so that now I'll pay the first 15% after the first 15 days and the remainder at the end of the month. So it's better and he's working on them now. So that's, that's really good. And then I updated the automation so it now runs five times a day. So it means that five times a day and a video each. Yeah, five videos per account. And if there are, dude, why can't I work this out? Five videos that go to one of the TikToks. So that means there are 15 videos going to TikTok across three accounts, another 15 to Instagram, another 15 to YouTube, which means we're pushing out at least 45 pieces of content a day as marketing for the YouTube channel. That is mental. And my goal is that I can set this up so that, you know, for other people who want to do it, it's already set out and they just can follow the instructions to get it set up. All right. Ten grams lighter. Let's see how this actually is for a ball. It feels super light. Oh dear. Do you like my t-shirt? It's got my dog on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a picture of her in a sh let me come closer. We got a picture of her in a shower cap. And then my wife edited the bubbles and stuff around it. And then we got a load printed. We literally I haven't sold I've probably altogether sold like four items between the socks, the hats, the bottles, the shorts and the different types of shirts we have. Shoot. Oh no. I've put this off for so long, I don't even know if I would be able to do it, but I ordered four different designs of shirts that my wife and I designed. One of them had a printing error on it. <sighs> Stupid me, I left it that the, I told the company about it that they would get back to me. And of course, they haven't gotten back to me. So I should follow up on that. But for this video, I think I didn't work out. I was a bit naughty this morning. I went to the gym to work out and I just never left the car. So let's get, let's get some push-ups in. Dude, yesterday when I went skating, that was really fun. I enjoyed that. There, I think it was last summer. I just would take my, uh, 
just stick on my roll. I think it was before we had Rugi, and I would just stick on my rollerblades and like six or seven o'clock, just go for a, a roll. You know how I've realized how I can make this into a couple of videos now. So in here you have the so these things, the different colors denote the different types of workouts they are. So you have shoulders, chest, back and triceps, which means I could do on my goal to getting all of them. Like video number one is to do all of the chess ones, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy. Bloody hell. That's seventy push ups. And then shoulders is one, two, so only twenty. Back is one, two, three, another thirty, and triceps, bloody hell. Excuse me. One, two, three, four. I feel like I way miscounted this the other day. So yeah, we, we see if we can do each of these all in a row. Uh, well, like one video is doing all of the shoulders and then another video is doing chest, blah, blah, blah. Until eventually you start doing shoulders and chest together. And then shoulders, chest and back. To you. you get the idea. You know, what's cr I think this is this is pretty wild actually. So, uh, a year or so, maybe two years ago now, um, I saw some Chinese TikTok stuff, and it was how people are selling stuff on TikTok, like through TikTok Shop. And I've just realised that I've been seeing that on TikTok now, like people going live. Like I saw a dude with this thing and some like bungee bands. And of course he's trying to sell those, but he's just doing push-ups and stuff and telling people about them on live. Dude, I think TikTok shop, it was so promising, but I think it's going to be the downfall of TikTok as we know it, which is a shame. All the more reason to be on YouTube. Then where, where will I make my short videos? I guess I can still make them for fun, can't I? I'll just post them on YouTube. Um, let's do the next 30, and then I have to take my sucrosomial magnesium pill again. Woo. Who sits cross-legged? Um I mentioned yesterday about the stretching and how nice it's been, how much more comfortable it is to be in different positions. The one that I found made the biggest difference, not stretch, but the position was this. And like playing with my son like this. <laughs> this was like, this was so hard before, just the all around my legs and my groin, just couldn't do it. Then I think we're going to go to Dollar Tree after this and get like some colored paper and some colored stickers and try and get Rugi to understand colors. Dude, I just... <laughs> Having a kid, you won't under... I promise you, you will not understand it until you have your own kid. Like even if you love your dog, 
it's different and it is so much better like i love dude i don't like there's nothing to take away from that but having a child is just the enjoyment you get is like nothing you will ever like nothing i've come close to experiencing in my life So yeah, go and get a kid, dude. What are you doing? Take a creator's word and go and get a kid. But like as he's learning things and picking things up, it's a, dude, I don't, it's so nice to see. It's so cool to see. Okay, let's bust these out and then we're gonna go, go to Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh. Oh. Bloody hell. Those were tough. Goodness me. I think this is the second to last. I don't even know how to hold this like that. Oh my goodness, that can't be it. What? One. Uh, Jesus. No, I've got to finish it. Can't wussy out, can I? Is it, was it like this? So I got two then, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ocho, nueve, ten. Oh my gosh. It, it's just pain. I don't know where that was the pain. Where was the pain from? This is going to be a bit vile. Okay. Let's go. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. How many was that? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh, um, uh, Ruggie's book, Corduroy. Um, Let's read that tomorrow morning. Yeah, let's read that as soon as I get home from the gym. Because we got to go right now. And, um, yeah. But it might be cringe though, because I'm going to do it the way that I would read it to Rugi, which is like, in my head, super animated. He seems to like it, so. All right. Let me check my, my note down automation and see if, okay. Uh,
yeah, that's it. Sweet. All right, well, I will see you tomorrow. Because, like, where else would you be? All right, let's uh, read Cordero tomorrow.